This is how you can make a rectal in Unity. For this project I have set up a very simple scene here. We have a ground and a sphere where the player stands on and you can here see there is the player and we will transform this character into a ragdoll because right now if we hit play then you can see that really much nothing is happening. The player just floats above the circle here but now we're gonna create a ragdoll for the player. So to create that let's right click here in the hierarchy Let's go to 3D object and let's go to Ragdoll. And now here we have a lot of empty fields that we will need to put the skeleton of the player in. So let's expand our player. This one is for Mixamo, but you can of course uh, also use your own characters. So now we have to find first the, you can see here we need to find the pelvis. For this we can use the hips. The names are not always the same, so we can just try to figure out what goes into what slot. For example, you can here see the left hips. We're going to use the left up leg here. You can also see that by clicking on them. And then you can see these little arrows and they are there where the center of that bone is. So let's go with the left knee. We can just expand that and you can see the left leg is about where the left knee should be. And for the left foot, we can just use the left foot. Alright, so for the right hips, you can s use the right up leg. Then for the right knee, let's expand that and use the right leg. And then for the right foot, we can of course just expand that one more time and go with the right foot. Left, uh, Same thing for the left arm, we can just expand, we can just yeah do that. And let's expand the spine. And you can see the left shoulder, we can use that as the left arm. Or maybe we even have the left arm. Yeah, here you can see we also have the left arm. So let's use that instead. And let's expand that one more time. The left forearm, we can use that for the left elbow. And for the right arm, let's go to right shoulder. And let's go to right arm. Drag that in and expand it one more time. Right forearm, use that for right elbow. And now we need the middle spine. So we have three spines here. Let's use the one in the middle, which is spine 1. Drag that in. And for the head, uh, you can, of course, use the head here. But I think it looks better if you actually use the neck. So let's drag in the neck. So now we need the total mass, which, uh, let's say, it's going to be uh, about 70 or 80 kilos. That really doesn't matter that much. Just set it to be something about realistic. All right. So strength, we don't need that, and flip forward, we don't need that too. So let's hit create. And now we have actually created a um, ragdoll. So if we hit play now, we can see that the player is dropping. But you can see that there's some weird glitches with the head. That's because the standard ragdoll comes with sort of an arrow for most characters, which is here on the neck or head, because you can see here we have a sphere collider, but the radius is very, very small. So we can do something like 1.9, which is a much bigger radius. And now if we hit play, then we can see that the head is actually uh, acting normal. And this is basically it with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.